a small village in Louisiana to becoming the first black news anchor in Las Vegas. Roosevelt Tostin's journey left an impact on black history here in the Valley. And reporter Alicia Patillo shows us how this black history maker left a mark in the history books. I am from a small village in Louisiana. It was so small that you can't call it a town, really. <laughs> Greatness sometimes has small beginnings. I had the privilege of working on the farm, chopping cotton, picking cotton. At 17, Roosevelt Tostin packed his bags and headed west. My brother invited me to come out to Las Vegas uh, and worked during the summer, and if I liked it, I could stay out here. I always had a dream that I was going to do something magnificent. When I was in the cotton fields and, and I was telling my sister, who was working alongside me, that one day I am going to be famous. That day came when he saw an ad in the local paper. Channel 3 put an ad in the black newspaper called the Las Vegas Voice and they wanted to train someone. They were looking for applicants to train as a news camera person slash reporter. The news director taking a chance on the 28-year-old dreamer. He took me uh, in the uh, studio there and, and put me on tape, had me read the story that I had just rewritten. He said, you know, um, it was a little bumpy, but you know, uh, I think we can work with you on that. After nearly three years behind the scenes, his time at Channel 3 ended. But he wasn't done with TV just yet. He found his place as an on-air personality at Channel 8. This is Roosevelt Tostin for Channel 8 News at the Nevada Highway Patrol. Not only was he in the field reporting, but by 1973 became the first black anchor on local news in Las Vegas history. On November 16, 1973. By 1975, Tostin said goodbye to local news and hello to bringing business to Las Vegas. This is Roosevelt Tostin, who is the communications manager with the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. I spent 28 years with the LVCVA. It was the best job I've ever had, selling Las Vegas. I have traveled to six, you know, continents uh, promoting Las Vegas. Tostin was instrumental in bringing Comdex to Las Vegas, a computer trade show that once was the largest convention our valley had ever seen. He also played a key role in bringing black conventions to the valley for the very first time. Roosevelt Tostin is black history personified. It's divine intervention. I, I feel like I'm, I'm living my purpose. There is no way that a guy comes from the small town as I did to become a news reporter in Las Vegas, anchor man, travel the world promoting Vegas, and it's just amazing. Wow. I remember Comdex. It used to be huge Yo, before yeah. CES came yeah, around. Sheldon yeah. Allison, yeah. That was Alicia Patillo reporting, and Roosevelt Tustin is also an author of four books, and he's one of many honored at the historic Westside Legacy Park. To read more about his incredible story, you can go to our website, ktnv.com slash Black History Month. I have to say, he look, first of all, he's he looks very great. handsome. <laughs> he dresses so sharp, and I love his suits back in the I day. Need to go, I need to go so get a, sharp. A plaid. He is on point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.